to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and during the month of December I'm going to be posting to this channel four times a week on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday at 7am. So if you love a recipe video like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you how to make this delicious roasted butternut squash chestnut and dill risotto. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you how to make my delicious roasted butternut squash chestnut and dill risotto. So this recipe is really easy to prepare and cook and this is a great dish for a vegan or a vegetarian. So if you are having vegans or vegetarians over during the festive season and you want to cook them something special, this might be a nice dish to give them. Chestnuts you can buy in the supermarket. I have seen them being sold in the supermarkets in the UK and they are absolutely delicious as well, I have to say. They're really nice savoury, but they're also really nice sweet as well. Um, so they're quite a versatile nut which is great. You can throw them into lots of different dishes and I thought I'd share this dish with you today because we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening. So here is how to make my delicious butternut squash, chestnut and dill risotto. Firstly, I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. The oven has preheated, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my vegetables to the baking tray. So the first thing I've done is I've topped and tailed a leek and then I've just simply sliced it into about half centimetre pieces. And I'm just going to add that to the base of the baking tray. And then I have uh, peeled and chopped one butternut squash and I've just chopped that into like one inch pieces and I'm going to add those in as well and then I have probably about a handful and a half of chestnuts here that I'm going to add in here as well these have been cooked they are cooked chestnuts so they've been simply cooked according to the packet which was from Merchant I think this isn't an advert for them but that's just I found them in the supermarket and they're by a company called Merchant. Um, so they've been simply cooked and I think they're going to be okay to roast. I think I did this last year and they were fine. So I'm going to put them into the base of my baking tray as well. And then I'm going to add olive oil to this. So I'm just going to drizzle over some olive oil like so. And then I'm also going to add some salt and pepper as well. So salt and pepper to your taste. If you don't want to have, add it, then you don't have to. So just a couple of pinches of salt and a little bit of pepper. I have a son who is all right on spice, but he doesn't like things too spicy. So I can always get away with a little bit of everything, you know, in his dinner. So that's what I tend to do. And then I'm just going to toss all of these ingredients together like so I might just get my hands in there like that and then I'm going to cook these in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the butternut squash goes golden on the outside the butternut squash, leek and chestnuts have been in the oven for about 35 minutes and as you can see they are starting to turn a lovely golden brown colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these from the oven and I'm going to leave them to cool. The butternut squash, chestnuts and leeks have cooled completely now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into my blender and I'm going to blend these with some chicken stock that I have here. If you don't want to use chicken stock, which I know isn't vegan or vegetarian, you can use vegetable stock. So I'm just going to add a little bit to the bottom to help it blend. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop these vegetables into my blender, as I said. They smell delicious, I have to say. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to leave a few of the butternut squash um, leek and uh, chestnuts. I'm going to leave some of them as a garnish at the end. So I'm not going to put everything in here. 
but I'm going to put quite a lot in. So I'm just going to continue to add this like so. And I think that's about enough for a garnish as well. And I'm also going to add some dill to this as well. So I've just got some fresh dill from the supermarket. Um, this just gives it a really nice flavour, I have to say. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend all of these ingredients together. I've noticed that this is a bit of a thick sauce, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit more stock to this, vegetable stock or chicken stock, and I am going to um, blend again. sauce to a consistency that I like so if you do want it thinner than this then please just add a bit, little bit more stock to the sauce as you're blending it and that will make it slightly thinner so yeah that's the sauce for the rice blended and now I'm going to cook my rice I've washed the rice under the tap through the colander and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into my saucepan and I'm just going to flatten it out like so and then I'm going to pour enough water to cover the rice and then two centimetres above the top of where the, the top of the rice basically so I'm going to pour enough to cover it and then two centimetres above that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the saucepan lid on I think that's about two centimetres yes I think that's perfect there I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to bring this to the boil and then I'm going to leave it, I'm going to turn the heat down and leave it to simmer until all of the liquid has disappeared. The rice is just beginning to come to the boil so as I said I'm going to turn this down to a medium heat and I'm going to leave it to simmer until all of the liquid has disappeared. The rice has finished cooking and all of the water has disappeared in the pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my sauce to the rice now. So I'm just going to pour the sauce on. The great thing about this sauce is you can have it over rice or you could have it over pasta if you wanted to as well. I'm sure it'd be nice with couscous as well if you like couscous or maybe some quinoa. Um, and also you can make this sauce in advance and freeze it as well. Um, and then all you have to do on the day is just uh, boil the rice and maybe cook off a little bit of butternut squash and some spare chestnuts. And then that would be dinner done for somebody or for you if you like vegan food. So, oh, that was a bit loud, sorry. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir the sauce in like so. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells really nice. And now I'm just going to serve myself some into this bowl. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the butternut squash and the chestnuts to the top. And that, my friends, is our dinner done. make my delicious roasted butternut squash chestnut and dill risotto and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. I'm going to be having this with some cream cheese this evening but you can also have it with some cashew nut cream cheese as well and the recipe for my cashew nut cream cheese I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening and it smells so good I can't wait. So for now that's it from me, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.